Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this pet store Shopify website. This website design is perfect for if you're selling pet products, toys, and accessories. This is designed to fit all types of pet businesses, so whether you sell products for dogs, cats, birds, and more, you can follow this video. This website design is mobile and desktop responsive, so it looks great on mobile devices. And in this tutorial, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics, such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. First, you're gonna open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes, and I'll be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is gonna be the base for the website. Click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is gonna look in full screen preview. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. First, I'm gonna click on the header and under desktop logo position, I'm gonna set this to top center. This way, your logo will display in the center of the website. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header, and right here, here, you can remove that effect if you would like. I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and I'll be displaying the social media icons. Then click theme settings and under social media, you can paste in the links to your brand's social media pages. And those clickable social media icons will display up here on the announcement bar and on the footer of your website. Click colors, then I'm gonna open color scheme 2. I'm gonna change the background to white, then I'm gonna apply a gradient background effect. And for the gradient, I'm gonna be doing white and a gray color. Then you're gonna click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme too. I'll be removing the announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. Then when you click logo, here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. I'm gonna open typography and I'll be changing this main font to the font Archivo Narrow Bold. Then I'll be changing the secondary font to the font Cabin Bold. When customers click catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website and when they click contact us this will take them to your contact form if you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar you're going to open shopify then go to online store and then navigation open your main menu and here you can edit the current menu items and add new menu pages next i'll be showing you how i designed the main slideshow to design the slideshow section first i'm going to import a slideshow I'm gonna scroll down and remove this image banner, and I'm also gonna remove the featured collection. You're gonna remove the heading, the subheading, and the container. Then I'm gonna apply the outline button style. Then you can retitle this button label and select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Then you're gonna set the desktop content position to bottom right. Then I'm gonna repeat those steps for the second slide. And for this section, under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom left. Click add block. Then I'm also gonna repeat those steps for this third slide. For this section, I'm going to set the desktop content position to bottom center. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners. Here on Canva, you're going to click custom size, and the dimensions I'm going to be doing for the web banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. You can upload your brand photos and your product pictures and upload those onto the page. Then I'm going to click text and upload a text box. Apply the font holiday, then upload another text box. Put this in bold, then apply the font babe is new. Upload another text box, and this will create a smaller tagline text right below this main title. I'm going to upload another text box, and I'm going to change this to the color white, then click effects and apply the lift effect. Click add page, and then I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste this text box. And on this page, you can upload more of your product photos. I'm gonna be designing these two pages as a carousel. So this last photo and this first photo are gonna be the same. Then I'm gonna scroll up and copy and paste these two text boxes. I'm also gonna copy and paste this tagline text. Click add page. You can upload a few more of your brand pictures. Then I'm gonna copy and paste this text box. And I'm gonna use this to create a sideways text box. I'm gonna copy and paste this text box. And lastly, I'm gonna copy and paste this tagline text one more time. Once you're done, that's how I designed the three web banners for the slideshow. Next, you can download each of these pages in a PNG format for the best quality. Back here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload that main web banner design. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Then I'm gonna set the pagination style to dots. You can also select auto rotate slides if you would like the slides to automatically move when customers are on your website. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow portion of the website. 
By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time. And I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the collection list. First off, I'll be importing a rich text. Then I'm going to remove the subheading and the button label. Then I'm going to import a collection list. First, I'm going to set the image ratio to portrait, then enable the swipe on mobile. I'm going to duplicate this section, and for this second row, you can enable the view all button if your store has more than six collections. Then when you click on a collection, you can select which collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just categories you've chosen to create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your products on your store organized. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed those collection covers. Here on Canva, you're going to click custom size and the dimensions I'll be doing for the collection covers are 1179 by 1473 pixels. First, I'll be setting the background to a dark blue color and you can set this to whichever color you'd like. Then under elements, I've searched for a faded element and I'll be uploading one of these onto the page. And that will give the page a subtle ombre effect. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. Then you can upload a picture to represent that collection. Next, I'm going to upload a text box, change this to the color white, apply the font to Baby's Me You. Then I'm going to click Effects and apply the Lift effect. Then I'm going to click Add Page, and these next couple pages will represent all of your collections. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the collection covers. You're going to want to download each of these pages individually. Then here on Shopify, when you click Products, then in Collections, when you create a new collection or open an existing collection, under Image is where you can upload that collection cover. And when you go back in to edit your Shopify website, you can select each of those collections to display. Once you're done, that's how I designed the collection list. And of course, you can remove the second section if your store only needs about three collections or less. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile, then remove the second button label. Then you can insert your brand description and also retitle the button label and select a link. Above that, I'm going to import a rich text. And I'm going to remove the text and the button label. I'm going to reduce the top and bottom padding. And then I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. You're going to duplicate this section and reposition it below that image banner. That's going to create a border for this section. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. Then I'm going to upload one large brand image in the center of the page. And I'll be uploading three smaller images on each side. Then you're going to download this page. Then here on Shopify, when you click select image, you can upload that banner design. Under image behavior, I'm going to apply the fixed background position. Once you're done, that's how I designed the About Us section. And here's how this section is going to look on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the Featured Discounts section. This section is perfect for if you're constantly running discounts and sales on your store. First, I'm going to import a rich text. And I'm going to remove the subheading and the button label. Then right below that section, you're going to import a collection list. And I'm going to change the number of columns to two. And of course, if you're running more than two discounts, let's say you're running five sales, you can increase the number to five. Under image ratio, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Then you're going to enable the swipe on mobile. Really quickly, I'm going to show you how you can create a discount on your Shopify store. Here on Shopify, you're going to click discounts, then create a new discount. And you can select which kind of discount you'll be running. For an example, if you were to create a 40% off discount for specifically your pet leashes, you can create a discount code that buyers can type in before they do their order, or you can apply an automatic discount to all the products in that leashes collection. And here on Shopify, when you click products, then collections, you're going to create a new collection for that discount. Under collection type, when you click manual, you can assign all of your leashes to this collection. And be sure to assign that new collection that you just created for that discount. You'll want to type in the percentage for the discount, the minimum purchase amount, and the start date for the sale. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the cover banner for the discount. Here on Canva, you're going to click custom size, and the dimensions I'll be doing are 5000 by 2000 pixels. First, I'm going to change the background to black. Then I've searched for a faded circle, and I'll be uploading one of these. 
and this will add a little bit of dimension to the page. Then you're going to upload a circle shape. Then you're going to upload a text box. You can put a mini description of the products that are included in the sale. Next, I'm going to upload a square shape. And I'm going to duplicate this text box. Then under Upload Files, you can upload one of your brand pictures. And I'll be using this image with the background removed. I'll list a couple of free background removal editors that you can use. And you can always create more of these pages for each new sale you're running. Once you download this page, here on Canva, you're going to open that discounted collection. And under Image, you can upload the banner to represent that discount. Next, when you open your Shopify theme, you can select each discounted collection you'll be featuring. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the Featured Discounts section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to retitle this section. And I'm going to retitle the button label and select the link. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click Add Page. I'm going to upload a square shape. And then you can upload a brand picture. Then I'm going to upload a text box. And you're going to apply the font Holiday. Next, you can download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the second web banner section. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the featured collection and the email signup. First, I'm gonna import a rich text. Then I'm gonna remove the subheading and the button label. Then you're gonna import a featured collection. I'm gonna enable the swipe on mobile. Then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. Then I'm gonna import an email signup. I'm going to retitle this section, then apply color scheme at 2. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured collection and email signup. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the featured blog post section. First, you're going to import a multi-row. And I'll be removing this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. When you click on a row, I'm going to remove the caption. You can insert the title for the blog post you'll be featuring. And you can put a mini description of the blog post. Then you can retitle this button label and paste the link leading straight to that blog. Then you can import pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're done, that's how I designed the featured blog post section. And here's how this section appears on mobile. And lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the featured Instagram section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. And I'll be removing the text and the button labels. Then right below that section, I'm going to import a rich text. And I'll be removing the text. You can retitle this button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram account. Here on Canva, you're going to click Add Page. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Then apply the font to Babe is New. For this text box, I'm going to apply the font Futura. Then you're going to upload an Instagram icon and reduce the opacity of this. For this next text box, you can type in your brand's Instagram username. Under elements, I've searched for a faded square element and I'll be uploading one of these onto the page. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. And then under upload files, you can upload the Instagram post that you'll be featuring. Then you can duplicate this image to fill up the page. Next, you're going to download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner heights, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. And here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify template, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that website theme into your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you have to do is add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this Shopify template, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.